Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vibra. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of November 2020. Show me the monthly energy sprinkled in with a little bit of festive Thanksgiving energy. Thank you, God. Thank you, goodness. So listen, you guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, clicking and subscribing to this video to my channel shout out to all my OGs shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you who came in to show me some love so what's up boo boo if there's anyone who would like to show some support um book a personal or private reading the only thing that you need to do is click the description or the about tab on my youtube page it has the pricing list it has the various methods of support and how to get in contact with me if you would like to book a personal or private reading i only do video readings so um you can connect with me on instagram messenger if you do not have an instagram messenger to send me a private message so that we can get you scheduled the best way to reach out to me is um, by email, which is uh, my email is scorpionrays at gmail.com. If you don't have Instagram so that we can do the video reading, uh, the best method to use is Google Hangouts. It's a freezy, easy app to download. The only information that we need to exchange is our email. And again, mine's is scorpionrays at gmail.com. So if you want to book with me again, check out the pricing list either in the description of this video, the about tab, and to reach out for me, to reach out to me for booking, message me on Instagram or email me at scorpionrays at gmail.com. All right. So um, as you know, Pisces, we always always give thanks to the creator for all of the gifts in life and love and happiness that we have so bow your head with me real quick let's give the father god the creator the universe whatever you want to call him let's give him praise and thanks father god thank you so much for collectively gathering us here for the sign of pisces thank you so much for just elevating us and just showing us our strength during this time father god thank you so much for opening the door for many vast opportunities we know that um this COVID thing is um eventually going to come to an end um, and that we just want to make sure that we are prepared and aware and just, you know, safely in a secure space when everything is all said and done. Um, we thank you for this time to be able to self-reflect, get some peace, get some well-needed rest, you know, um, and just allow us to just grow as we're coming out of this stage and this uh, frequency. <laughs> As we're coming out of this stage and this frequency, Father God, we um, are most definitely determined. We feel strong and we feel blessed and we feel prayed up. We're just trying to get any type of negative energies, any type of confusion, any type of blockages that heck from around us, Father God. So if there's anything that needs to be removed, Father God, remove it so that we can be at peace with it and move forward in the name of Jesus. We trust you in everything that you do, Father God. We don't question anything. That comes or goes. We know that you know what you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get into this Pisces. Let's see what we got going. Pisces, now listen now. And the craziest thing is, I don't even think. We going like that. I didn't even see the car. You know what? I'm just going. I ain't see it. I'm just going to mind my business. I didn't see it. Y'all might have just seen it. But I didn't see it because, yeah. What was I about to say? I was, um, it just be tripping me out because I be feeling like sometimes it be a lot of harsh stuff coming out in y'all's energy sometimes. But I don't even feel like it's you. I feel like it's someone around you. Because it's like, um, kind of sort of remembering the reading from last time. It was something crazy. It was something crazy. I just can't remember what it was. I want to say like y'all got like some psycho ass person around y'all Pisces. I don't know if this is the cross watcher. If y'all are dating a Pisces that is been in some type of weird energy or. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't, for whatever reason, whoever is watching, I don't think that the energy that we've been picking up is you. 
I definitely feel like it's been someone else that is just like their energy has been screaming out in y'all's reading as like a warning or something like that. So you can just be aware of this person. And I don't know why I'm picking from the bottom. But started from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> started from the bottom, now the whole team fucking here. Listen, we started from the bottom, now we here. You know what I'm saying? So we about to go from the bottom to the top. You hear me? Pisces not playing because I'm so serious. Like I, And again, Pisces is just saying, like, you white reds. These motherfuckers need to get from around me. Because it's not Pisces. It's not. I don't. And again, whoever is, is watching the video. If you're watching the video and you're watching for Pisces, it's not you. You know what I'm saying? It's literally not you. It's the Pisces that's tripping. Or if you are the Pisces watching your reading this crazy energy is not you. It's the other person that I'm picking up on. You feel me? So it's just like, okay, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Just put it down. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't want y'all to be feeling like I'm harshly attacking y'all. Look, I really don't care, honestly. I'm going to tell y'all what I see on the, on the table. I'm going to tell y'all what I see on the table. So, if it is your energy or if it's not your energy or whatever it is, um, it's just it's just been a lot. And I'm praying and I'm hoping that positive stuff comes out. And that whoever and whatever that is, that has just been going on around you. I hope that you've found your escape finally. Or did these people just figure out a way to level up and just get from up off of you? I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, now they're saying, now stay woke. Dun, 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 dun. Niggas creeping. They gon' find it. Won't catch you sleeping. Ooh, now stay woke. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Niggas creeping. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you close your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Daylight. I'll wake up and if you won't play right Listen, I used to know you now that shit don't feel right Yeah, I'm serious I'm starting not to waste my time, I'm so serious If you want it, yeah, you can have it, you can have it I'm serious, y'all. Whoever this is, like, stay woke. Because, like, whoever this is, is, like, creeping in your energy. I don't know why I feel like this is, like, an energy vampire or someone that feels like they can try to manipulate and play with your energy in some type of way. I really do. They're saying someone's fixing candles. Someone is preparing offerings and doing shit fucking with your goddamn energy because they just like I'm sorry I don't even mean to be saying this shit but I, I'm so serious because I just been getting like this real creepy weird ass vibe with the Pisces readings and I'm just like what the fuck type of evil do you got around you because whoever this is is crazy anyway let's see what this is right here hold on let me just before before God please let this be some positive energy hold on Please, please, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I told you! Oh my God! Didn't I tell you? I told you. Stay woke, cause niggas creep. Y'all, y'all. When I had split this deck, did y'all did y'all see this weird ass shit? Did y'all see it? When it felt, cause it just, it, I didn't even shuffle it. It was just like, boom. Yo. 
there's someone stalking y'all energy, man. I, I'm, I'm so serious, bruh. Like, I'm so serious, man. I'm so serious. Ooh, this person give me the creeps, mo. Like, ugh. What the fuck is this? The nine of air. Like, this, the nine of air. This, this is someone that is a nightmare to you, like disastrously dangerous and the reason why I'm saying this is because this person is not beneath going to like a witch doctor or a voodoo priestess or hoodoo, uh, a practitioner or something like that to do some type of spell work or some shit on you like I, I don't get any and, and I'm serious I got this off of the oh y'all Like, there is many pieces to this puzzle. Like, I swear, like, inside this motherfucker is a very fragile, insecure, bothered person. Like, there's many, many little parts to the inside of this person that is fucked up. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I know how nice that nine of goddamn swords looks. This is not a nice car. This is... A car of a walking, living, breathing fucking nightmare. Like, you may have, like, the inclination and you can feel it. Like, this bitch be watching me or this man is watching me or, like, they be getting readings on me or they be fixing candles, burying my drawers in the, in the front yard. Like... You, you might not even want to leave your hairbrush around that motherfucker. Like, nothing. Like, it's just like you don't trust this person. And it's like, at the end of the day, shit's going to get cut open. And you're going to figure out what the fuck this person has been doing. Because I want to say, like, you can't even rest at night. Like, this person is literally in your fucking dreams. Like, it's like this person is stalking your dreams, stalking your energy. And I want to say this shit is dri it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy because I can feel it. Do you understand? I was even asking God and praying over y'all about removing this person before I even touched my cards. Did I not? I do not need cards to read. Do you understand what I'm saying? Pisces, there is someone in y'all's fucking energy that is obsessive and possessive and will not let you go. And for whatever fucking reason, they just can't get it in your fucking head that they need to move the fuck on. You need to. And, and you know what? When Y'all, let me let me go here. Because when I cleaned up the deck and because this is just like some extra cards that I have over on the side for when I be doing my daily bread and I forgot which reading I think it was Capricorn made me reach over there and grab these cards and so like I've just been using them as like a little extra because you know y'all been having to wait a little bit for these readings to come out what is this hibernation and regeneration now hibernation and regeneration just came out for you like you definitely need to rest and retreat away from this person it's like i want to say it's like you're trying to find a safe place to fucking hide <laughs> like i really just it's like to safeguard and hide your energy y'all because like this person be going to spiritual practitioners to all this old shit pulling on you and like that's why i really don't like it when people come to me it asked me to do a reading on someone. I don't even really be doing it like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be like, listen, if y'all want to know, I'm going to tell you what you want to know. But if your feelings get hurt, I want to hear about it. Because I always tell people, do not go and get readings on somebody else's energy. Like that is like, to me, that's a violation of someone's privacy to me. If you want to find out what's going on, just ask God what's going on with me in love. I'm going to pick up on what's going on on your energy. I do not have to go and pull on somebody else's energy. Whatever the fuck is going on around you, God is going to tell me what that person is doing to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is going to tell me what that person has been doing to you. But this is someone that has literally been pulling on this person's energy. I definitely want to say that this person has been getting readings or been trying to do readings 
or been trying to do some type of spell work or something look do you see this person you see this person is in a cave like dug a hole in a fucking cave is around protective crystals and around their familiar this is like their spiritual guide or somebody like your ancestor somebody that's been watching over you that's been trying to safeguard and warn and protect you about this evil sadistic sick ass fucking bitch like this motherfucker is crazy i don't know and i'm serious i'm really i'm not and i've always keep picking up on it like a crazy ass female energy yeah but this could very much so be a male energy you see a male stalker right there so look so stay woke niggas creeping they gonna find you gonna catch you sleeping look Look, they going to find you, going to catch you sleeping. Don't this person look like they just they just found out where this person was hibernating at? And this person thought that they were safeguarding their dreams, but you're not because I don't figured out where you at type of shit. Like, this person is fucking crazy, man. Fucking retard, yeah. Anyway, what is this? Becoming a braver. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, a fresh perspective, becoming a braver. Like literally, and like I'm literally. I think that you are finally waking up and acknowledging this person for who they are and what they represent in your life. This person is a living, breaking, walking, talking, squawking, fucking nightmare. Okay, a walking, talking, stalking, fucking goddamn nightmare. I don't even remember how the hell I said it. I really do feel like right now you are um, being resilient right now. You are finding different ways, different methods to safeguard your energy, to protect yourself. Like you are becoming braver and braver and braver and braver every day. You are utilizing your crystals. You're utilizing your, you're utilizing your salts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just doing everything that you can do for protection. And I don't even think that a lot of y'all believe in this. But you know, a lot of Wiccans and um, people that I think is Wiccan. I don't know what it is, but like people, like good witches. Like, you know, uh, what is it? On the, on the um, Wizard of Oz. Was it the witch Glinda or something? Like she was the good witch. The good witch, okay? She says... Go take some salt, okay? If you could get, like, um, red salt, like, uh, uh, um, ooh, 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 ooh. Get some, get, get some red salts, uh, sea salt, um, Himalayan salt, or just rich rock salt. You know what I'm saying? You could dilute it with water, and you can just walk a circle counterclockwise around your house, or just sprinkle, like, you know what I'm saying? You can even use table sauce. I would get two, two things of salt. That way you don't run out. It cannot be, it has to be a smooth line. It cannot be a crack or a barrier within this, this salt circle. You know what I'm saying? To protect your home. To protect your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want y'all to do whatever you feel comfortable with in regards to protection. And I know a lot of you guys, y'all don't. And, 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 and again, I don't necessarily feel like, um, I don't feel like it's witchcraft. I feel like it's spirituality. It's nothing wrong with learning and educating yourself about the elements that God has presented us with here on earth to safeguard, to heal each other, to nourish each other, to keep us healthy and thriving before we had all this technology before we had any of this shit that we have now going. We had the elders and the communities and the tribes that would go and collect these herbs, that would use these crystals, that would talk to the animals, that knew the earth. Because there are evils out here. There are things you need to safeguard yourself from. You have to look to the animals before danger comes. Animals peep that shit before we do. You have to tap it to your animal instincts. Because minds is telling me. They tell you to stay woke. Before I even seen a fucking card. So protect yourself. What is it? The Adelia of water. 
So this is like why this look like I don't know. These look like the little those little red flower things. Those look like the little flowers that um be budding on my pineapple sage that the bees be eating and stuff. And you can use that to make a tincture or a tea. And you can use the pineapple sage leaves and stuff to relieve stress and anxiety and things like that. I've never heard of this herb before. What is this? A cotillo? I've never heard of a cotillo before. But, um... And shit, did this come out in the reverse? I can't even remember if this came out in the reverse or upright. I'm pretty sure that this came out in the reverse. And a, and a Delita, or whatever, however you pronounce this shit. I want to say that this is like... This is the Knight of Cups. Just let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the Knight of Cups. It is most definitely in the Knight of Cups. And then, hold on. It says, protect your heart wood, but let your love blossom. Strong boundaries create healthy relationship. Give your whole heart to the cause. A young woman is on a solo hiking retreat in a desert. She makes a camp near a cultural cactus. Where, where the fuck was I just talking about cactus? Anyway, I, I literally was just saying something about cactus. The plant is crowned with vibrant pink blossoms that overlook a river running through the canyon. The bright blue sky is dyed with fluffy clouds. She adds flowers to the water to make tea, changing the liquid to a delicate pink. All right, whatever. So we already know what this popping on. So listen, this is my thing because I, I really want to say that this was in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. With this is is in and again, I'm still picturing the freaking little trumpet flowers that be on my pineapple sage. And the bees have been very very busy harvesting the nectar. With this being in the reverse, I want to say that you've harvested, you've done all you can do. Um, it's about time for you to make that tincture, um, your elixir, your medicine to like heal your heart and to protect and put a safe boundary, a barrier, um, and safeguard you from this person. I really do feel like there's no love lost, but there sure isn't any love gained at this point. In this venture, um, it's time for you to release and let go. And, and and I think that you've already released and let go. I think I think it's just healing yourself from the stress and anxiety that this um, has caused you. Because I, I I definitely feel that your heart has been. I want to say, they say your heart has been fondled and mishandled in some type of way where it needs some type of emotional remedy. You know, it's like, it's, they just said like, you're hurt to the point that you would love, that you would run to anyone who would love you at this point. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, you just need a safe, ha a safe haven. You know what I'm saying? Like a safe haven. And then again, the Knight of Cups in the reverse is literally someone who will fall in love with anyone who pays attention to him. So safeguard your heart and pay attention to that. Just because you're running from and you're trying to safeguard yourself and you're trying to protect yourself from um, an unsuccessful love situation that is literally turning into a moment of regret. Don't just run anywhere. Don't just run anywhere. Don't put your heart in any place because it's like you're not learning your lesson here. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I have to call a thing a thing here. Um, I feel like you could very much so because of some emotional immaturity here. There's emotional immaturity here. And... Just a need for protection, love, safeguarding, and just feel like 
you're okay and being nurtured, I feel like you might run to anybody and like that's not good for you to do. It says manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. So um, again, I really do feel like this is a hard feat to tackle right now because you're living in a persistent nightmare at this current moment that you're really trying to hibernate, safeguard yourself from and just trying to allow it. It's like you want to rest and allow this shit to wither away on its own. Um, with this manage to be glad right here, um, I don't I don't know why. I don't think that this is the animal sticking its tongue out. But I don't know why every time I see this, I feel like the animal is like, nan, and a boo-boo. <laughs> like sticking their tongue out or something like that. I want to say manage to be glad because even though you may be living in simple moments of regret, I want to say that this hibernation and retreat, you did successfully get away. And I want to say that you are um, experiencing some peace. It's just this person is in your head. Like this person is fucking with your energy. And is it's like this person is like, yeah, you thought you got away from me, bitch. I'll see you in your dreams. Like that type of shit. Fucking crazy, bitch. I'm so sorry about it. Manage to be glad that you got away from this situation. That you are finding ways to protect yourself. And because even while you're in this secluded place in this hibernation like i said you got your spirit guides with you and you got your blanket you're covered in faith and i feel like you're resting easy i don't it's i feel like you're finally getting to the point where you're resting easy every fiber of your bones because now i'm seeing the roots right here it's like you have strong roots i feel like you have spiritual roots your sp your roots are a lot stronger than this person knows of and I want to say that you got somebody because I said your spirit guy right next to you like you might not know it but it's like your mother may, may lay sleep next to you like your father like some type of like if you had like a dog or something that was your best friend ever since you were a child it like that spirit animal may still watch over you Ooh, and they just said like sometimes you may jump because you may feel something like brushing, brushing or tickling your foot. Like that's your spirit guy. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's like pay attention. It's like trying to get you to pay attention or be aware of something or aware of their presence or like you might have had a thought. Like you might have literally been thinking, man, maybe it's time for me to move. I need to go underground, go in stealth mode real quick. Like you might have just been thinking it. But not really taking your thoughts seriously. And then you feel that little tickle on your foot. You're like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck was that? You know what I'm saying? It's like your spirit guide. Like, uh, yeah. Take that advice. Take your advice. Let's see what we got going on here. We got the five of pentacles in the reverse. Why well, I feel like someone is being kept. The five. Ooh, you got the five of cups. The five of pentacles. Jesus Christ. And then you got the judgment in the reverse. So they say someone is being locked away. Is being kept out. They keep trying to reach you. Look at this motherfucker. It's like this person is being. Torn away from you. It's like every, every time that this person tries to advance to you. To reach you. Because it's like whoever this person is. They find you as their state of comfort. It's like they're not. I swear I would not be surprised if the devil car comes out on this table at any point in time. It's like this person lives in a constant state of regret. A constant state of misery. A constant state of keep trying to reach out to the past and trying to get in. You know what I'm saying? Like they keep trying to get in your good graces. Trying to get you to give them favor like take care of them to help them you know what i'm saying like this person might be like remember what happened the other day when you know you said that you couldn't do this but i really need your help now and all of this stuff like this is someone that keeps reaching out to you like this could be someone that literally will try to hurt their self just to reach out to you just to say that they need help with something because they want access to you. And it's like God is like, no, go away, go away, 
go away you this person can't do this for you no more you need to figure it out on your own like this is like you will not allow this per this person could be going through some homelessness right now and keep reaching out to you for attention like they need help and every time you try to help them only thing they want to do is talk about the past and emotional shit and you're like bitch i thought you needed help like i thought you needed help because you ain't had no place to stay and that's all you want to talk about this all you want to talk about. Like, where is your motherfucking priorities? Like, no, 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 Judgment in the reverse. Listen, whoever this person is, is clearly not operating off a full tank. They're not getting it. They're being sent back to self-imprisonment like to me the judgment is when you you did not pass a test you did not pass a test like you can't go further than here like you got to go back and start again so like this person is being forced to start over because they keep failing they keep failing at this like God is trying to force them to change and to move on but it's still they keep trying to come back here you are supposed to be kept out of here stop trying to reach and like get over it go home and figure out how to reassess your life and start over you cannot come here no more stop coming here stop crying like, i'm gonna call the police on you if you keep showing up here like what the fuck is wrong with you like i feel like i feel like a restraining order is needed Someone needs to restrain their self and to get their self to fuck together. They need to realize how dysfunctional and how pain seeking this is. This is pain seeking. If someone doesn't want you in your in their life, why in the fuck do you keep going there just to continue to be rejected? And it's like you're doing things to yourself and you're doing things purposely just to have a reason to have an opportunity to say oh I need I needed to reach out to you because oh the kids need this or this happened and this is and 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 Pisces is like so what I don't care anymore because Pisces sees what you're doing like you're doing something intentionally just to get attention and make it seem like you need help when you don't you need mental help that's about it it's like this per the ace of clubs finally so listen i think i could if only i knew how to begin finally so little girl are you finally getting it in your head that i need to take a new approach i need to start my life all over and stop harassing this person and being fucking annoying for once like finally Finally, it's like I'm. I, I hold, let me see before I get too happy. The Eight of Wands. So, so I honestly feel I got to see how how things go over here. But this is like new beginnings. You know what I'm saying? Like a new opportunity to kind of start all over again with a new, spanky new, fresh pair of eyes, fresh pair of legs, fresh heart, new skin. Like a new body, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like you had an outer body experience or some shit. Now you're being snatched back. Okay, all right, I'm reloaded. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you have changed your avatar picture or something like that. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. They said that someone changed their avatar picture because they they want to cease to communicate with this person cuz with the um was it Adelia I say Adelia whatever but the Adelia water in the reverse it's like I know this person is watching me if I keep leaving the door open for this person to be available to me they're going to keep trying to try different things to approach me I feel like you guys have changed your avatar. You might have changed your look. 
um, it might have been a struggle for you to figure out how to begin again. But again, you do have a new approach because you said, I think I could if only I knew how to begin. This is the beginning. You know what I'm saying? This is like the Ace of Wands here, you know? So let me just clarify what the Ace of Clubs means just so we can have some clarifications. The Ace of Clubs, yes, yeah, the beginning of a new enterprise, a business venture, a focus, or a direction of singleness, of a purpose, the exercise of will, important papers to be signed, a legal document, contract mortgages, um, a building or institution, a government, a, cor a corporate, a public, private, financial, or educational, or penal office. A home belonging to someone other than the quarant. So again, I want to say I feel like someone changed something. You know, like they've changed something. And again, I want to say someone, remember I said hibernating in retreat. Like you guys could have very much so moved. It's like you went underground. You went stealth. Like whoever can't find you, you might have... Um, they said deleted your subscription or something. Oh, you might have deleted your subscription to like a gym because like this is like active work. This is like body work and things like that. Like clubs is like a club. You know what I'm saying? Like a club. So like you could have deleted your subscription where you guys, wherever it is that you guys have colleagues or people that y'all meet and y'all greet and y'all do whatever together like you might not even go there anymore because you know that this person is going to be there and this person is a part of the same club you may be looking for a new avenue a new group to communicate with this is the eight of wands this is a lot of fast communication things going forward in your direction the way that you want it to um, i feel like once you kind of got a grip on things and you manage to be glad i mean you do have a new location. I definitely feel like you guys have a new place that y'all live that no one fucking knows about. Because again, this person keeps trying to gain access. And I want to say because they know this is someone that could be homeless right now and really does need help. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want them to live with you. Absolutely not. Judgment and access denied like shit. No. And that would be complete lack of judgment on your part. Absolutely not. You know, the judgment card is when God is calling you to show up in some type of way to show that you have learned a lesson. You know what I'm saying? That you have repented. That you won't repeat the same mistakes. Do you understand? You have, but this person hasn't. They're still trying to gain access to you. So that's why judgment has gone for the plaintiff. Hold on. Not the defendant. Yeah. For the plaintiff, not the defendant. Like, you haven't defended yourself adequately to show me that you're not stalking this person. To show me that you're not still contacting this person. Because this is still a lot of fast talking, a lot of communication. And it's like, I, I don't feel like I need to block this person. You know what I'm saying? Because I still need to figure out what the fuck they're doing. Because it's something about this person where it's like... I still need to, I need to be able to rest and relax, but at the same time, I still need to be aware of what the fuck this creepy ass motherfucker is doing. Look, the Joker in the reverse. I did not tell you the devil card was about to come out. This is the Joker in the reverse. Again, like this is spells and dark magic and dark level, deep seated, rooted addictions. It's like your mind, like I'm not going to let you go probably did bury some drawers in someone's front yard or put some period blood or someone's fucking macaroni. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But is this the, did I tell y'all the fucking devil in the reverse was going to, did I tell you the devil was going to come out, period? We are all mad here. And that's why you've been going fucking crazy. Like, this person has literally been taken over mind body and soul by some negative ass shit like i'm not listen the four of fucking i'm trying to tell y'all this person is doing some some spells and witchcraft and shit like that to get you back in that house to reconnect this is the fu and then and this is the pepper is this some peppers here no this is elder 
I don't even know what the fuck elder bear. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bruh. I don't even know what the fuck that is. But this is the four of wands. This is the four of wands. So again, like this is someone doing some low level fucking manipulative ass energetic spell work. It's like they're putting all their energy in that shit. They may even be paying someone to do that because they want to reconnect with you. They want to be able to gain access to you. They want you to express your feelings for them. They want to be able to have a safe place in this home. They just want things to come back together the way things used to be. But that is not what you want. Because you literally see this person as bad shit as crazy. It's like when you can't get what you want, you will go low to gain control or to be able to... Fix your hands around somebody to be able to manipulate someone to get your way. And I don't fucking like that. I don't like that. The two of wands. Like this person is moved the fuck on. And keep your temper. Listen Pisces. Keep your temper with this person. You, you're steady. Headed towards the future. You have definitely are seeking and looking for elsewhere. Keep your temper. You know that this person is trying to trigger you. You know what this person is trying to do. If they can't have you, they don't want nobody else to have you. They want you to be mentally or emotionally fucked up where won't nobody want to be with you. Like I said, we're all mad here. If I can't have you, I'm going to make sure that no one else will or will want to have you. I'm going to make you so fucked up. I'm going to have you so fucked up. That people can see your spirit and how broken it is from 10,000 miles away and won't nobody even come near you. That's why Pisces sent you back home. Like, Pisces, Pisces does not, the grass is so greener. The grass is so fucking greener. I feel like this person really really triggers your anger they could be trying to get you locked up like I, it's like I'm really getting like if they cannot have you they don't give a fuck what happens to you like I don't give a fuck if you do get locked up I don't care you know what I'm saying it's like I see this person looking I mean it's not that this person is looking to leave you they're already gone it's like Pisces has already grabbed their wand for their new beginning. I told you, Pisces has already done that. Has already done that. So I, I feel like right here, it's like my past is behind me. It's like I'm steadily looking forward and it's like I'm not stopping. And I want to say it triggers or angers Whoever this person is that is seeking you, that you will not stop looking ahead. It's like you won't look back at them at all. Like at all. What is this? The seven of wands. Again, you're constantly having to defend yourself, dealing with arguments and just a whole bunch of low vibrational dumb shit that you shouldn't have to deal with. You got the magician in the reverse. Didn't I tell you this motherfucker was doing spells and magic on you? I told you. The ace of wands. I told you this person was doing magic on you. So again, stay your ground. Do not appear weak, not for one second. Keep your temper though. Keep your temper. This person wants you to embarrass yourself. This person wants you to be just as crazy and stupid. Like... This person wouldn't mind if you do spells and magic back on them. They like they they got to the point with this shit. It's like I do a love spell on you to keep me and 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 and, and you can do one on me too, which as long as we're together, driving each other crazy and just being completely insane and toxic. It just it just as long as we're together. <laughs> don't let them take me away from you. Like who the fuck is them? Like what? This person just don't want to be around you for whatever reason because you just dysfunctional and crazy and, and control. It's just like this person is, I feel like this person has control issue. For real.
for real stand your ground because this person literally has no problems with going have it putting spell work on you yourself okay paying someone to sacrifice a goat uh, uh, do so I don't know what the fuck motherfuckers be doing I don't know what the fuck motherfuckers be doing only thing I know is this motherfucker is definitely doing something trying to get the sun to rise again they're trying to pray and manipulate energy trying to manifest some type of new day a new position in your life and I just want you to pay attention stay woke stay woke let's get some shamanic guidance here manage to be glad though um don't taunt this person with this manage to be glad because i definitely feel like new things and new aspirations and new blessings are coming to you with this eight of wands <gasps> but then you know eight of wands can mean gossip and and drama and foolishness it can definitely mean that and again I, I, I feel like this is like someone won't stop trying to talk to you like ugh, what is this stripping illusions I know that's exactly what we're doing right now I don't want you to have no illusion as to what the fuck this person is doing and what type of person this is. Because I really want to say Pisces. Like you really really didn't want to believe that this person would act this way or be this way. Um, Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Listen. Strip an illusion so that you can get to this new day. You have to find and regain balance. Protect yourself. And you got to block this person out. Because if you do not. This person is going to legitimately drive you up the shit creek fucking wall crazy and you're gonna be crazy and you're gonna be doing that same toxic devilish bullshit that this motherfucker is doing and you gotta understand the more and more you surround yourself you are what you eat the more and more you surround yourself around people like this the more you become and you inhabit that same type of energy if this person is literally is literally going this motherfucker far to have some type of low level control and manipulation over you what makes you think if you continue to surround yourself around somebody like this that you won't end up like this as well? You got the chariot. You were good. Continue to move forward. You're emotionally sane, sound, and stable. Do not let nobody drive you crazy. And again, this is a confirmation of the stalker card. This person is still stalking you. They're still stalking your energy. They will not stop looking at you online, your social media. They be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, checking for green lights to see if your shit is lit, to see if you are active. And that's when they decide to talk to you. And like, I'm getting acrimony. <laughs> like seriously, continue to move forward. And if anything, you use this card to deeply reach inside of yourself and do not communicate because you know this in the, in the upright means premature, immature communication. Do not communicate like you know who you are. You know what you need. You know what is healthy for you. You know where your guides are telling you to go. Your guides are telling you to go forward. Do not communicate with people that you know good and goddamn well. It's borderline mental health. Because this is borderline. This is this is crazy. Do not talk to the mental health. To people who need mental health assistance. Okay? And look. Mental health assistance. This person is sick. For whatever reason. Whatever type of... Whatever, listen, stripping illusions. I'm calling a thing a thing. Can we call a thing a thing? This person is crazy. And even with this, fly away. And then you're a water sign. Y'all know the dragonfly is literally represents water signs. Fly away and let the sun shine brightly in your life. You understand? Get away from this person. Pisces, I love you. Continue to love yourself. And I'm trying to tell you, salt, 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 salt bath. Uh, put a salt ring around your house. Bitch, I don't get, look, get you a satchel, I mean, a look, look, get, look, let me show y'all, because these little bags that I used to order, um, 
these little bags I used to get from Amazon that used to have my crystals and shit. I, look, I don't care. It ain't your car. Get you some rock salt, some sea salt, some motherfucking Himalayan salt. Crush that shit up or whatever as much as you can or whatever. But ha just have some salt in your car. Have some salt in your <laughs> in your purse or something. Because if you see the devil, put your hands in there and throw that shit right in there, motherfucker. I bet you they leave them. I bet you they leave your ass alone and keep some fucking salt on you in the little in the little baggie. Put some salt and, and grab and go to the go to the dollar store. Get you some salt. Go to the grocery store. Go get you some fresh sage. Some white sage, some fresh sage. Put some fresh sage leaves in this little in this little bag. Okay, with your salt, put sage and salt in there, and when you see the devil, throw it at him, bitch. I love you. Continue to love yourself. I will see y'all next month. Peace.